Max Bailey has been good enough to wander into the box. Speaking of uh, high quality ruckman, he's parked himself up the back here. Hello, Maxie. Hello, boys. Hey, Max. This is a good looking man no that can actually it. do a photo spread, unlike a washed up old sort of oh, Western oh, bulldog. No doubt about it. <laughs> it's a bit intimidating walking in and you're ripping into dust. Well, Thank you, Maxie, because Max is a ripper. He won't do hey, that. No doubt about that. Yeah, give him five minutes yeah, and we'll exactly. see how he goes. Hi. Max Bailey on uh, Triple M footy. Uh, so, where does that leave uh, one of my favourites, Hair Hat Hale? <laughs> I get the feeling the man with the plastic hair has got to the point now, Maxie, where he's so comfortable in the forward half he doesn't want to get his hands dirty in the middle doing the <laughs> knee into the guts of the opposition-style work. Yeah, it's a bit like that. I When I'm playing and I'm trying to call him into the ruck, yep. and he, he sort of, no, no, I'll stay here and kick Happy. another six. Um, uh, exactly. But no, he, I mean, that's the beauty of Dave. He can, he can go anywhere and, and I think he, he kicked six goals. Yes. Uh, one of the NAB Cup games and... Had tickets on himself for the Coleman. No so, doubt. Um, I don't know. No, it's good. It's good to have him in forward line and the ruck. Speaking of that, his former teammate, Brent Harvey, tweeted, a big congratulations to my former teammate with fake hair. That's it. David Hale in his 150th. 150th game, and it That's should be recognised. He's, uh, well done, Baldy. Yeah, bloody oath. He's That's a beauty, Haley. Maxie, what's it like when the chief wanders into training? Uh, is it a situation where you don't, don't look, fear, mate. you don't look him in the eye and uh, you know that he casts a big stick and oh. uh, has been prepared to just cut players' Almost. legs off? When required, uh, do you engage him in conversation? Because he doesn't like people that much, uh, Max. What's what's he like when he wanders down? Well, I haven't seen him for a long time. Oh, I think was, the oh, last time was the oh. the AGM, perhaps. But he, I don't know. He um, he's a good man, Jace. I I say good day to him, and he says good day to me sometimes. And, and <laughs> well, <laughs> Maxie, don't tip right. into their rubbish, mate. <laughs> there is a, an unwritten rule that you don't speak to the chief at all. You don't even glance at him till he speaks to you, <laughs> absolutely, and then you actually talk back. And and James, we had to console James yesterday when the news that Ruff wasn't playing oh, no. tonight because he hasn't been able to pick. He'd like, oh, but no, we missed out on the uh, push-up king and then uh, big Ruff. So uh, he's ready to go next week. Yeah, I think it was mainly coming off a five-day break, yeah. having played for Box Hill. Um, he copped a little bit of a cork. So other than that, he. I don't know, he would have been right to go, so I'd say next week he'd be Jeez, He came into the Rush Hour Studios, Maxi, during the week. It's a, a, it's never a good leg anyway, sort of in real need of a fake tan or a, a, a sort of <laughs> you know, freckly, hell, oof, horrible, freckly, freckly a pasty bit skin. Of red <laughs> the Brad Pitt and George Clooney over there. What he's got is some real skinny bastards going out, so is he got, does he need to do some, uh, you know, some uh, calf lifts or something? Rough. Maybe, maybe some implants or something. Well, I think it's, it's, it needs help, Maxi. And as oh. Gary correctly pointed out, a good-looking young man like yourself, probably take him out of the wing and help him a little because Jim, geez, he cast an ordinary look the other day. You Shop are him. a human twig. No, but I'm and you are potting both sides. Trying to be a, a power forward. I don't know what's going on with Russell. He's an athlete. And Jim, um, as Mac, Maxi, as you know, Jim, when he calls Hawthorne games, it's rough, and he's, uh, his mate Xavier Ellis yep. are the two. Yep. But they're both not playing, They need Jim. a lot of help. So is there anything to be read into that? Xavier's uh, had some good help over the journey. Uh, Shane Crawford early uh, uh, helped him out in the nightclubs. And then Ozzy, who I know is reptilian, and Oz has helped him a bit. But I wonder who's helping him now, Maxie, when he needs some ex at, you know, in the bar and that. Who, who's, who can he hang around? Oh, who I'm could not... possibly help him with one? Gibbo. Oh, oh, I think um, X might have a girl anyway, has he? He does, actually. Yeah, oh, so mm. Jim. Well, he needed to. Be respectful. <laughs> but he, he is fighting him off with a stick, though. Oh, okay. <laughs> See, Max, he's with us, Chief. <laughs> Don't try and quell your blokes who have got natural spunk. <laughs> Don't have to quell, Max. <laughs> <laughs> You're a hey, mature Maxie, young man. Good luck. When we see you again, we'll look forward to it enormously.